car is even damaged. damaged. My car is damaged. Is where is right your here. If you want to see, you oh, can come. Shit. Why are you hitting my car, lady? Because it's not damaged. You bitch. Would you tell her to get away from me? She's crazy. You know, just took, you know, took me to, you know. It's not damaged. I mean, usually what you're supposed to do you don't, you don't in an accident yeah. is we exchange information. You bitch. You are a crazy bitch. Is she driving away? Have we let him? Yeah. Huh? Let's go ahead and put the picture up full of mass here. I don't think I have enough college degrees to navigate all of the complexities of this story. So this is a viral video of an exchange between two drivers. They were at a Costco in California. The Instagram user shared the 51 second video on the platform Thursday. She said she was backing out of her parking space when another woman decided to reverse her car and allegedly hit her. In the video, the woman can be seen slapping the back of the vehicle, which appears to have some minor damage. She argued it was not damaged. Keep the picture up because ironically, I've been in a similar situation years ago where someone hit my vehicle. I was at a red light. They did not stop in time. They hit my bumper. It had a slight variation, just like you just saw. And I assumed there was no damage because I was able to basically push it back in place. No problem. Shook hands. We went on. About two weeks later, my damn bumper fell off because there are clamps inside of the inner workings of that bumper that typically are either A, broken in that moment or B, bent. And they will wear down. So to say there's no damage, well, you got to look inside first. And then to likely damage the car even more by hitting it, well, that needs to be examined as well. But the audacity to not only call her the B word, I'm going to assume, madam, because you're at Costco, you're shopping, you got a license, you're driving a car, you, you understand how to you know, negotiate life. You hit someone, you then hit their vehicle, you call them the B word, you hug one of the nicest black men I've ever seen, and then you drive off. Now you have a hit and run. I, there is absolutely no ambiguity about your responsibility during a traffic stop. And once again, I submit, I assume you know the rules. Because you have a car, you're driving like a little license. If you got a Costco's car, damn it, you got a license. Guarantee you that. The let's put up the picture of the uh, the hug. Um, I just got to give it up for how amazing black people are. I mean, this brother was calm. He was cool. He was nice. He was courteous. The young lady who was being called a b-word, nice, courteous. Uh, did not overreact, really didn't even aggressively react to this. Just beautiful people. Uh, she was lucky. The Karen was lucky that day. She ran into some very beautiful souls um, who did not have any aggression toward her. And uh, this is a dangerous narrative, ladies and gentlemen, because if somebody else would have been in that position and she's running to them saying, hey, protect me, help me, this woman is crazy, something bad could happen to the woman she's talking about. All right, Jackson, that was the best narrative I could provide. What's that? <laughs> My man has had enough. He looked like he about to quit tonight. <laughs> right. That was <laughs> right. that that was his final straw. He looked like five hours ago he reached this point. Like there's <laughs> right. just there's just nothing left. He was just staring like, and nobody really knew what to do because what would you do in it? That's like the last thing you would expect to happen. You might expect people to get violent before you expect someone to just yeah. come over and that was out of the it. box thinking for sure. Yeah. She, je she Jedi mind tricked everybody. Exactly. She just acted so strange that people just didn't know what to do. And and it's and and then the woman who was recording, like she wasn't, you know, sometimes you just can't really get upset because it's just like, what? Like, are you okay? 
You know, like that's one of those things you look at her and it's like, I don't think you okay right now. So I'm not, you know, my bumper isn't totally destroyed. So I'm just going to, I'm just going to let you go on about your day. I hope you make it home safely because you probably shouldn't be driving right now. But, uh, yeah, that was, that was definitely one of the best Karen videos we've (laughs) gone over that since I've been on the show for sure. Yeah. I don't know what to say, but yeah, my man's is, I hope he get. He, he should get something for that. I don't know yeah. what it is, but give him something. Key to the city. Right. Exactly. All right. 